guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be filming my 100% full coverage, long lasting, glowy foundation for dry skin. So if you guys have super dry skin, you're looking for something to give you a bit of a glow without looking too cakey, this is exactly what I do. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm just going to give you a little bit of my skin background. I have really dry cheek areas, dry forehead, um, and then I do accumulate a little bit of oil around my nose throughout the day, and that's basically it, but I do have dryness around this area as well. It's weird. I have oil and dryness like right in this area, but whatever. And, you know, today I just wanted to show you guys how I get my full face, uh, you know, foundation routine for dry skin that's going to give you a nice healthy glow and not look overly cakey or cakey whatsoever. So this is the foundation. I guess I show you what I bronze with, my blush, um, my highlight, all of that. If you guys want to know how I created this foundation look, then please keep watching. So the first thing I like to start with is moisturizing my skin, which I've already put my moisturizer on. Um, and now I'm going to, to go ahead and do a quick mask. Um, typically, they say to leave these on for 10 to 15 minutes. If you don't have that time, which I don't today, then you're going to want to just throw it on for 5 to 10 minutes if you can even spare that. Um, and during that point, I do usually work my eyes, but for today's video, I won't be. So I'm trying to find my little applicator for this because whatever. Um, and I'm not seeing it like anywhere. So let me look here. Oh, it's so cold. Okay. Oh my god, that's really freezing. Okay. So I'm just going to apply this all over the skin. And um, not too thick, not too thin either though. You want there to be like a good amount on the top layer um, and yeah I'm gonna let this sit and I will be right back Um, age defy dark circle um, puffiness treatment um, and I'm just gonna roll this right up underneath my eyes because I know that I do get really puffy sometimes and this just really helps me to wake up too to be perfectly honest so foundation I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier candle glow soft luminous foundation and I am in the shade um, shell, if you guys can see that. So this is the lightest shade I believe that they have. So I just kind of like go on and pump it straight onto my face. I'm going to do about three pumps on each cheek. Kind of. That didn't make it over there. These are half pumps on my forehead, half pump on my nose, and there we go. So if I need more, I of course can always add more to but I do feel like I need a ton of foundation to get the coverage that I want and not just like one pump or two. Plus the pumps are really small, let's be honest. So I'm just going to go ahead and buff in the foundation with my brush. Oh no, did I get some of my shirt? This happens to me like all the time. Good thing I'm not wearing this top today. But bad thing it's a white shirt. foundation on but to make it long lasting really full coverage the way that I like it without looking extra cakey and you might be like 
how is that possible? How are you achieving that with these products? It's really my skincare that I've been doing. I really feel like that is what's really helping me out is just the skincare that I've been doing, which if you want a separate kink, kin care. You guys want a separate skincare video? If you guys want a separate skincare video, please let me know. I'd love to do one. I love skincare right now. I love anything having to do with the skin. So I'd love to go over that with you guys. Um, if you guys want an eye tutorial, if you guys want my eyebrow tutorial, whatever, let me know. I will do it for you guys. Um, but the next step, you guys already got a sneak peek. I go in with a powder foundation. So this is the Bare Minerals um original foundation in the fairly light shade this is in limited edition packaging but typically it would come in a little container this size this is a different formula this is their matte formula um, but I like going in with the fairly with the original one because it's got a luminous look to it and I have dry skin so you know I like to look dewy without looking oily because sometimes I do actually get some oil around my nose and stuff, but not like a crazy amount to me. I'm um, so sorry if you guys can hear that siren. Um, I can't necessarily wait for it to pass. No, I just went past my door. So what I do is I kind of get some in the lid and then I swirl it around. This brush I'm using is the Bare Essentials Bare Minerals Heavenly Face Brush. And this is just like a buffing kabuki you get the most coverage that way and I'm just gonna take it and buff it into the skin camera but I don't have there I think you guys can see it I do not have any like lighting on me I have natural lighting on me but I don't have any highlighter on this is just the foundation and this found powder foundation um so the original foundation powder from bare minerals has a great you know luminous look to it and the candle glow of course is going to be a luminous foundation too so if you're oily skin this might not work out for you but if you have dry skin this will work and i'm talking dry like scaliness so that is that now i guess i mean really that's how i do my foundation but i'm going to show you how i bronze the blush i use highlights things like that that i like to use so i'm going to go in with the laura mercier again this is another powder foundation this is the mineral pressed powder um i think it's supposed to be a foundation but it's a mineral pressed powder in warm chestnut so here is the backing laura mercier and this is the color so I'm actually going to go ahead and use this as my bronzer. This is completely matte. Um, I've been trying this out, so I really liked it so far. Bare Minerals Flawless Face Brush. This is typically what comes with um, like the starter kit with the foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and tap in with this brush just a few times. Be sure to get the excess off. And I'm going to go ahead and put this right here. Because I like a warm, bronzy look lately, so I'm not really like trying to contour. I'm just trying to bronze up my face with this product. Cosmetics 
a professional blush 10 color blush palette. Um, yeah, I don't think there's like any other name for this. So um, you get all of these colors in this blush palette, this shade and this shade. So this is peachy. It looks really light in the camera. And this is like a rosy pink. Um, it's a lot more muted than what's showing in the camera. I'm just going to kind of mix the two together and pop it on my cheeks. And yes, I'm using the same brush. Typically, there's not enough bronzer on here to mess with my blush. So that's why. Why don't I just stick to the wrong one? So that's why I use the same brush. Highlight. Typically, it's a mixture of eyeshadows and my favorite highlighter that you guys can't get your hands on. Um, but I do use the uh, Victoria's Secret All or Nothing Luminous Powder. What is this? Illuminating Face Powder. Um, so I take it. Uh, first, I'm going to take it on this like, stipple brush, and I'm going to put it on the top of my cheeks, and then, you know, above my brows, top of my cheek, and then, you know, of course, on the nose, and then I'm going to take a fan brush and basically pick up some more concentrated product and really designate that on my face. can see that it is like a pinky tone highlight though but I just I love it I don't know you know why I just love it so much that is pretty much my face base so I'm gonna go and do the rest of my makeup and then I will be right back all right guys so this is the completed makeup look that I went with today if you guys want to know what products I used on my eyes my brows whatever um, it will also be listed and linked down below and everything that I use in this tutorial will be listed and linked down below as well if I can find the product if you enjoy this video please give it a huge thumbs up it really helps me out to know that this is the kind of content that you like watching and also subscribe to my channel to be notified when I upload new videos I am going to try to upload three times a week haven't set the schedule yet but I really my main goal is to upload five days a week so I don't know yet I'm still working on it guys but I just wanted to come back because I was so excited to share just everything I'm a lot more confident now than I was then and I don't know I just I don't know so that is it for this video I guess I will see you guys in my next one and sorry for my weirdness but stay tuned for the bloopers roll it So, I don't know why I want to sing the Laura Lee song. It's the end of the video. Uh, okay, so, what was I talking about? And subscribe. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. Be sure to... Do you see this?